Hey everybody, Anne here, and today I'm going to test out version 2 of my water filter. I need to get some stuff together, get some water, and, well, let's just see if this works. Alrighty, I got me my bucket, I got me my string. Let's see. Alright, the river's right over there, but I need to find a spot where I can kind of access it pretty easily so I don't pull myself in. So let me hike down here a little bit and find me a spot. I don't know guys, this water looks really, really bad. Um, alrighty, let me, let me hike up this way a little bit. This water over here, it's a little shallow, but um, it's running over rocks, so it looks like it might be a little bit cleaner. The only thing is, how do I get down there? Because there's a ledge here, and it goes straight down. I may be able to get down, but I don't know if I'll be able to get back up. So, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I got some hiking boots, but they're Harley Davidson original or uh, official Harley Davidson hiking boots, and I don't want to get them wet. Uh, I'll figure it out. Ledge. See, that's the ledge. By that rope was around the tree. I kind of just rappelled down backwards. I wish I could have had a like a GoPro or something so you could see how ridiculous I look. Um, but when I let go, the rope released from around the tree, so now I don't know how I'm going to get back up. I'll figure it out. And this mud is very, very slippery. So, I'm down in the water now. Um, I'm going to go get me some water. Alright, this water actually doesn't look too bad. Not too bad. So, I think that I'm going to just kind of put this in. It's a little shallow, but that's okay. See how much I can get into my five-gallon bucket. Alright, that's definitely dirty water. Whew, bugs and everything. Um, yeah, and I'm making, it, I'm making it dirtier by walking around in it. Let me see if I can get just a little bit more in there. Okay, I think I'm only going to be able to get about half a bucket. So, let's see if I can get back up over here. Now, I'm going to stop filming because I don't want to drop my camera into the water. But, I have to get back up over that hedge, that ledge, whatever, with the bucket. And back to my campsite. Wish me luck. Phew, I made it. But, check this out. I had put little socks on my feet because I hate the way that it feels my feet up um, against that rubber. I'm all muddy now, but at least my feet aren't, just my socks. I made it up. I just held on to some stuff, put my feet on some roots, got the, excuse me, got the bucket up. So now I just have to make it back to camp. So much fun. Okay, I think you can definitely see that this water is gross. Um, it's not as gross as it could be. There's bugs floating around in it. Um, I'm going to try and get those out before I pour it in. And this is the version 2 of the water filter. It is just a pop bottle. And I put this little gauze tape around it just to kind of reinforce where the twine is holding it up. And I just got it hooked up to my window thing here. And uh, yeah, I got holes drilled in the bottom of that cap. Bottom is gauze. You could use cotton, a cloth, whatever. I've got a nice layer of biochar that might be kind of hard to see. Um, well, yeah, if you can see a little bit. Then I've got fine sand that I actually bought from the store at Stone Granules. And then I bought, then I got um, pebbles and rocks. So this is going to have to be rinsed a few times. So I'm just going to use this water to kind of rinse all of the you know, the ash and any dirt and whatnot out because it's going to take several tries before um, it starts clearing up. So let's see how many times it takes for me to pour this water into there until it gets pretty clean. All right, let's do this. Hey, let's get started. I can't wait to see the results. All right, see, it doesn't look that bad in the bottle, but you've seen it in the white bucket, so you know it's kind of gross. Let's just pour this in. Let's just fill this up as much as we can. Eventually it'll make its way out the bottom. And put as much in there as this can hold. 
Oops, I've got to move this out of the way. All right, first what's probably going to go in there is a lot of ash, because I didn't really rinse the ash off um, from the activated carbon or the biochar. So that's probably going to look kind of blackish. And I didn't rinse the rocks off this time. The sand was clean, but the rocks were not, so I didn't rinse them off this time. So we're going to see what happens when I keep putting water through it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab another one and put it through and just keep working at it. I may speed this up. We'll have to wait and see. Alright, I'm going to stop this and just let those two little dumps uh, drain through and we'll look at the water and see what it looks like. Okay guys, that water is actually looking pretty darn clean. I expected it to be kind of a little bit more grayish, but it is not. So, let's see. Not too bad. Um, it's hard to compare these two because the bottom of this is white and the bottom of this is, well, towards the grass. But this water is already looking pretty, pretty clean. And uh, I didn't even rinse the stones off. I got it draining into this container now, and this is the second time I've sent it through, and it is already looking very clear. Um, I know it's hard to see exactly because there's like green grass underneath, but if you look right through here, it does look pretty darn clear. So I am thinking that this filter has been rinsed enough to be able to filter properly. Alrighty. So, all of the other water that we're going to do, we are just going to send it through, and I'm going to fill up my big blue tank over there, and I'm mostly going to use that for probably washing and whatnot, um, and then I will also um, fill up one jug for drinking, and we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> this is so exciting. Here we go, folks. Let's see, I wish I could turn this around so the label doesn't obstruct it. It looks really cool. Um, so, we're just going to start pouring the water in. This is actually some that's been filtered a few times already. And once I empty all of this, which is basically perfectly clear right now, into there, we are going to fill up this whole thing. I'm going to get water from this bucket, which is ugly, and filter it and put it into here. Just for the fun of it, I am going to see, I'm just going to pull this aside a little bit, pour some of it in here. I'm going to take a taste of this water and smell it. I haven't done that yet. Let's get a nice big glass of water here. And I am going to taste this and see if it tastes worthy of drinking. It looks pretty darn clear, guys. Alright, that's enough. Let's just sit this over there. Okay. I'm going to drain the rest of the way. Now, gosh, I wish there was a way to Let's get a really good look at this. Let's see if I get out in the sun. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It looks absolutely clear. Totally clear. No discoloration. Um, let me taste it. it smells good. Tastes like water. Tastes like good, clean water. So I don't know, maybe I can drink this. Um, I still think I'm going to reserve the one gallon jug of, you know, maybe that's been filtered several times to drink. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep doing this. I think I'll just pour this back in here. Let it filter some more. This could take all day, but that's alright. I got all day. I'm able to fill my bucket up a little bit more this time. A few more bugs, but... While I was traipsing around in the river, look what I found. They're all closed. I've been finding these shells all over the place opened up. These are closed. 
They look like little baby clamshells to me. What I want to know is, can I eat them? Does anybody know if I can eat these? I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research. All right, let's get back to filtering. got a third bucket of water and it is still filtering it's really hard to see but it is just really clear water so my tank is uh, I got about this much in there and I think that this will be enough for this tank and then um, I'm gonna take some of it out just uh, pour it right out from the little spout once I put it back on here filter it again, fill another gallon jug, and um, that'll be the real taste test to see just exactly how clear this water gets after it's been filtered. But I'm looking down in this tank and it looks absolutely 100% clear, no discoloration, no odor. Um, some of the water around here smells kind of fishy, you know. Um, so this design looks like it is working great. So I don't know. I'm thinking of maybe trying to save it. I don't know how many times you can use this. Uh, I think I'm going to have to research a little bit more into that. So this is this is pretty cool. I can't wait to see what the final results are. Okay, this is essentially full. So what I'm going to do is I am going to fill this jug with water that's been filtered twice from this jug. So, let's see if I can do this with one hand. This is going to be interesting. I don't know. don't know. All right. Fill this up. And it's looking pretty clear, guys. This is such a fun project. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn this off. And now I have to move this. I'm probably going to have to move that a little bit better and hold it. All right, so let's just go ahead and start pouring. Okay, it's pretty clear I'm not going to be able to do this at the same time because I need both hands to do this. So I'm going to turn this off and once I've got this jug filled, I will come on back. Here it is. It's going right on into there. I cannot wait until it is done. All right, there it is. It's going right on into there. Crystal clear water. We'll know for sure once I pour it into a glass. So yeah, I feel like I could totally survive the zombie apocalypse. I mean, I can fish for my own food. Hopefully if those little clams I found earlier are not poisonous, I'll be able to eat them. I can purify my own water. I can wash my own clothes. Now all I need to do is learn how to make my own soap from stuff I can find in the environment. I know. Okay. I did want to actually show you the water that I poured out of the blue tank. It is completely clear. That's filtered water too. I just used to kind of rinse some stuff out. Completely clear. No discoloration. No particulate. No particulate. I can't even talk. Um, good clean water. So you know what? I don't know if it's safe to drink. I'm going to try a little bit of it later. This has not been filtered twice yet. This has just been filtered once. I've still got this going over here. So, I don't know, we'll see. Um, at the very least, it's clean enough to wash with, which makes me happy. It's clean enough to use in things that I'm gonna boil. Um, you know, like coffee, pasta, you know, stuff like that. So, I'm really, really pleased with this filter. This is just 
awesome. So I'm going to try and save this and I will come back when I do the taste test. I emptied all of the water from this blue thing into these buckets and why not? I'm going to go ahead and filter them again. I may as well get some mileage out of this filter because I don't know if I'm going to be able to save it. So yeah, let's just filter it all again. It's all getting poured in there. Very good. And this is my gallon jug. I wish I could put it against something white. Completely clear. No discoloration. Smells good. And I'm going to taste it now. Oh, I know it's going to taste good. I don't have to worry about it. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see if I can do this. Very good. Very good. Let's put the cap back on. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Smells good. Uh, uh, uh. It tastes like good, clean, fresh water. It's going to be interesting to see if I get sick. Mm, nice, clear, cool water. So, yeah guys, I think that my water filter version 2 is even better than the first one. And the reason why I say better is because basically I put water into all these dirty rocks and the, and the dusty, ashy uh, biochar and at the first run it came out clean. So, this is great. Right on. Okay, one last test for my little filter here. Here is some really gunky water that I got from, well, I found a bunch of river clams and this is what I washed them in. So, let's pour this down in here and see what happens. Ooh, that's bad water. Alrighty, so I'm going to let that drain down in there and we'll see. We will see if it clears it up or not. I'll be back. Alright, let's take a look. Let's take a look. That is completely clear. Remember what it looked like before? I'm going to use this to rinse out that pan that I am making clam chowder in that I just boiled the clams in. So yeah, it's work. it works great. This filter works fantastic. All right, and just to remind you, this is what the water looked like before we started the filtering process. It's very dark, it's very brown. And then this is what it looks like after it had been filtered once and before it had been put back through the second time. So I think that this was definitely a success. Great filter. And here it is. I think this one's a keeper. I'm gonna see if I can save it. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.